110 freeway. We've already passed the 110. We're getting into the downtown area. We're going to be on the. We're going to be at the East LA interchange before Sky Two is actually over. LAPD. They were the lead agency, but they've actually handed it off to the California Highway Patrol. Now that California Highway Patrol has moved into position, the LAPD has backed off. I believe the helicopter from LAPD is going to stay with it. The want, well, that's kind of a gray area, especially for us right now as far as information goes. The only thing they're saying is that he's a wanted, violent suspect. That's the best way to put it right now. Uh, the vehicle that they're chasing is the one we can kind of, we're getting a better, better look. Better, better look at it. Looks like a silver vehicle. They haven't heard the description of the type of vehicle as of yet. When we get overhead, we'll figure that out. But we're on the 10 freeway. We've been on the 10 freeway. We're past downtown right now. That's going to be the East LA interchange. We'll keep an eye on which way he goes. California Highway Patrol is taking this over from the LAPD. You know, Stu, we heard information um, that the suspect was throwing things out of the window. Did you see anything like that, or do you have any information? As far as we know about them tossing stuff out that was on the 10 freeway, we didn't actually see that. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard it earlier on when we were making our way over to this location, uh, and LAPD was, was uh, LAPD was the. Oh, we're having a problem. Oh, go ahead. We lost but, you for a moment, uh, but, Stu. Uh, Oh, that perfect timing. I was having trouble to <laughs> keeping up with what we were talking about. <laughs> right now, I can tell you he's still on the 10 freeway, uh, but it does look like we're in, that, we're in that area where we're working our way northbound now. So we're going to be in the Boyle Heights area, working our way north to the, where the 101 meets the 10 freeway, and it keeps going out to the east. California Highway Patrol, they've taken it over. You can see that uh, lead vehicle right there. I think, i got to work with my pilot on this, but I think that the LAPD is still providing the light for them and that's what you're seeing right there so they might stay with it and I've just got a correction thank you very much it is the California Highway Patrol helicopter that is lighting that up so this is all California Highway Patrol right now and the only want that we know for the reason why this whole thing started is that is a violent suspect that's all we understand it to be a violent suspect they might actually this vehicle might actually be registered to the driver so there's a possibility that they may oh just kind of give this up at some point because they know who's behind the wheel. But right now, it's a full-on pursuit. We've made that transition. We're right over by uh, US, uh, USC Medical Center, and we're on the 10 freeway, Boyle Heights area. Head, heading east, yeah, you just you saw that kind of that, that right turn. So he's got a wide yep. open road to, uh, to head all the way into uh, the Inland Empire. Well, hopefully it won't go that far. But right now, those speeds are a little bit higher than freeway speeds. I can tell you we're probably going about almost 80 miles an hour out here, eastbound 10 freeway. California Highway Patrol, calm and collected as always. We're listening to them making the calls where they are in their speeds. Right now, though, the vehicle basically pretty calm as he, mm -hmm. he is eluding officers. But it does seem like he's just kind of moving along. He's kind of hugging that right right lane. So the uh, 710 is going to be coming up. Don't know if that's his plan, but he's definitely staying on the right side of the freeway. Or maybe he might even have a place where he's going to exit here shortly. All right. You know, as you mentioned, the speeds, uh, it looks relatively, I was going to comment on that, Stu, doesn't seem to be driving reckless at this hour. Doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic out there on the 10 freeway, at least as we can see which is a good thing for other drivers on the road, obviously. And, and you know, Pat, I mean, I don't know about you, but when we all drive home, you know, not long from now, around 1130 at night, the, the freeways are over. open. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The freeways are open, and a lot of people do tend to, you know, move it up into the 70s at this time of night. Because oh, yeah, they, you Because see they that. can, you know. Right, Stu? I mean, it's, you know, well, pretty, well, 70 well, is pretty common. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to say I don't want to put myself in a bad spot. You yeah. know, I do pass a couple of CHP officers every night on the way home. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, but uh, definitely uh, you, everybody's kind of moving a little bit faster than freeway speeds. I can tell you right now he's going about, he's just right about the 80 mark, and he is passing other vehicles. You can see that right there. But the other, the other folks on the road, they might be slowing down because they're seeing the, 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 the lights and sirens from the California Highway Patrol right there. That was about the most reckless thing we've seen this uh, driver 
ever do since we've been overhead. He did make some kind of aggressive moves right there, going around a couple of uh, other drivers. California Iowa Patrol, though, they've, they're going to be setting up that switcheroo where they're going to be handing it off to other California Highway Patrol uh, as they're moving into different jurisdictions. Right now, this vehicle just continues to move along out here. 10 freeway. Let me just get a little bit wider and make sure. I know we just did a transition right there. You passed Currently it. still on the 10 freeway. Yeah, you just, yeah, didn't we just pass the 710? Just it. Yeah. Definitely just past the 710. So, and he's continuing on, and like you said, this is, uh, it, t tonight I'm looking out the window, there is traffic, there's no doubt about it. Is it backed up, is it slow? No, it's definitely not. There's just other cars on the road, and they're all moving about, probably right about 70 miles an hour. This guy, or this guy going about 80 uh, this evening. California Highway Patrol, though, like I said, calm, cool, and collected, making the calls, keeping up behind this vehicle as this pursuit continues out into the Alhambra area. And he seems to like that East 10 freeway because apparently that's where he's been since this pursuit started. We haven't seen him exit or get on another freeway. And he's not, he's not really putting anybody in danger. I mean, yeah, he's, he's going 80 miles an hour. I get that. But no reason rights do for the CHP to, to try to change up this pursuit. Well, definitely, as long as he's uh, just fleeing, as it would be, we are not seeing him do any kind of aggressive maneuvers, cutting off other drivers right. or anything along those lines. He's definitely freeway loyal, that's for sure. It's 10 freeway, that's what he's been on the entire time we've been listening to it. And he's continuing on. The, the other part of it, though, is we don't know what the law enforcement knows in this case. We don't mm -hmm. know what the a additional want was. We don't know. Well, we do know he is getting off the that's freeway right yeah. now. Uh, but... Uh, it, but uh, we don't know why this person is running. So uh, right now, California Highway Patrol, we've seen them in the past on these off ramps do that pit maneuver, especially when they get up close to, at the end of the end of the uh, off ramp. In this case, it seems like he's continuing on. Now he's starting to drive a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like uh, we're going to be on Atlantic southbound and doing the oh. old into the car park oh. right there. So we might not be able to watch what's going on. California Highway Patrol, though, they're, they're just right going right him. in after them. Yep, no gate in this case. But uh, I can tell you that we're going to be uh, That's the, basically uh, in, in, in the same gate, uh, Monterey Park area. Monterey Park, and we're right off of Atlantic. Well, that's where the, uh, that's where the AMC theater is. And uh, Can we tell? A, well, that doesn't look like a theater no, there. It doesn't, does it? You know what, Stu, no. I, you, we were talking about, uh, we had information that this was a Code 6 Charles suspect, meaning that he was wanted for uh, a felony. And we heard information that this was, uh, you know, this person would be considered dangerous. Um, this makes it even more precarious, does it not? Because they are in a parking facility. And how many times have we seen this? Sometimes those vehicles go, go in, the suspect jumps out, runs away. And they're not uh, caught. We, well, in this case, uh, well, in this case, those officers were right behind them. Uh, the uh, tight quarters, though, that's going to be an issue uh, for the officers. But they are trained for those types of situations for sure. Uh, that suspect, they don't know how far the garage goes. Uh, that's what I'm trying to look at right yeah. now. Uh, they are throwing that light on in different areas, and a lot of times of these garages are exposed where we can actually see inside there in this case looks like that parking garage pretty well locked up uh, i'm going to take a look real quick i want to make sure if these are going to be monterey park pd that those are monterey park they're joining this right now mm -hmm. probably helping to set up the the perimeter and uh keeping an eye on what like you said there might be another way out so keeping an eye out for right now and i just heard i heard the dispatcher hey. asking if they have a suspect in custody so Maybe we'll get an answer here in just a second. Yeah. You know, we just, are we going to say something? Well, I was just going to point out, we just put it on the screen, and now we know okay. that it's an ADW, assault with a deadly weapon. That's what he's wanted for. And, uh, and, and if, that, if that were a residential, like apartment buildings, there would be a gate down, not allowing him to just drive in and park. So, but, but you Are there people moving across the street there? But that building, Stu? Uh, the... Uh, those are, we're looking at the officers. That's going to be California Highway Patrol with Monterey Park. I think that's the other way out. Uh, so apparently right now he's still inside that parking structure. More officers are making their way over here. 
And uh, I haven't heard the answer. I, the, one of the dispatchers was just asking, is the suspect in custody? And I had never got it. I, ne they, I don't think they actually answered her. Yes. So my guess is not in custody, but definitely inside this parking garage. And like you said, this, I believe this is a shopping mall yeah. and residential. So there's a, there's a lot of places where this person, if he got, if he got the opportunity to uh, run and hide, he could make uh, be, be hiding for quite a while. Yeah, especially if there's some kind of, I don't know, you said uh, residential shopping area, could be restaurants there, and some of the staff could just be getting off. It's 11.30 at right. night, so even if restaurants close at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. you know, and they have uh, the workers stay over, so that makes a... That's more dangerous, I would say. Yeah, not they're the looking kind for of... a suspect, oh. and whether they have a weapon or not, though he, they're being looked at, uh, well, being you know chased yeah. after by police. So, for other people out there on the street uh, or in those in that parking garage, that could be a problem. Luckily, how do you would okay. see? Should this be at yeah. five o'clock when the stores are open? No, but any any yeah. opportunity. Sometimes we've seen people just get so desperate, and then, you know you don't want to think yeah. the worst, but that could happen. Is that a Police car or not? There mm. doesn't look like. No, doesn't look like. No, it. no, that's that. That's gonna. Yeah, no, that's gonna be. It uh, looks like a Maserati. Uh, <laughs> it, these are probably people that are either working or, or shop owners yeah. or living in this area. We understand one in custody right now, and there oh. apparently were more than one person inside that vehicle. One in custody, two outstanding. Uh, and you're going to know that the officers, depending if they're which ones they are, but law enforcement is going to check every one of these vehicles trying to depart right now uh, to see who's inside those cars as they make their way out. Uh, right now, though, you can see them t checking, uh, checking licenses and probably registration, see if that vehicle belongs to the, the driver. But again, this is a termination of pursuit into a parking garage area, and this is going to be one in custody and two still outstanding. All right, well, we do see the AMC theater there mm -hmm. in that, uh, that shopping structure that Jeff alluded to earlier. So now with two on the run, they could be hiding anywhere. That's yeah. pretty big. You know, and then they have that, then you wonder, will they, are they just going to try to stay running or are they going to try to hop in another car, carjack well, a car? That's why I was talking about yeah. people that could steal workers coming out. We just saw that, uh, Stu said a Maserati could have been a shop owner or somebody um, at that mall, and that, that to me makes the situation a little bit more dangerous. We certainly hope they do have the other two in custody, and that's the end of that. A lot of tedium there for the officers if they have to check every car coming out. And, Stu, you're right. I mean, that's about the only thing they can do is make sure that the car matches the driver. It definitely, or at least they uh, belongs to it, or maybe they have a description as well. Uh, but you can see there are all of a sudden a lot of other vehicles starting to make their way out of the garage. Maybe they saw the activity and now they're saying, you know, it's time to go. So you can see a number of vehicles making their way out. California Highway Patrol actually blocking the, blocking the road probably to help contain the, you know, funnel these cars into one area. But you can see now four cars coming out. So these guys are going to be checking all of that. And, of course, other officers are here. There's probably an active search going on. But one in custody, that's a good start. Not sure if that's the driver or one of the passengers, but uh, one in custody and two outstanding as the search continues out here. And it looks like two helicopters, uh, law enforcement helicopters overhead right now. Yeah, they're going to try to make sure they get those, those other two people in, in custody. It's interesting how we went from one to three. I know, I know. It's almost it seemed like it was a joyride for three people mm -hmm. there. And you don't know what happened when he went inside, when he or she went inside the, the parking deck because, I mean, they could have struck another car. Um, you know, you don't know uh, how that arrest went down. And so it's, we've got a lot of questions. And, and, and if they're actually outside. Yeah, sure. This part, when I say outside, and wow. not in a building, like yeah. in, in the theater or in a restaurant or in another uh, sh shopping center. Okay, well, um, Stu? Thanks for, for that. Are you going to be on CBS on uh, Facebook Live? That's, that's, those decisions are above me. That's going to be the producers and or somebody at the desk. So if they say we are, we're definitely going to stay. Okay. But I, I don't know. Nobody said anything to me yet. All right. I just wanted to mention that um, to invite our viewers to join you there if that is the case. Because, because for now, uh, we're going to move on here at uh, CBS, too. Thanks, Stu. Yeah. All right. So we have some great weather ahead. Ah, Boy, warmer garb, weather. Yeah, a little bit warmer coming away. Then we're going to go down a little bit and then right back up. So that's what we're looking for. Let's get to the temperatures now. Currently, it's 59 degrees downtown Windsor, calm. 62 in uh, San Bernardino, 55 Corona and 55 right now. Up in the Avenue, I believe is what it's called. 
it, it's kind of difficult to uh, listen to the scanner and uh, and interact. So uh, now I'm going to do a little bit more listening to the scanner. But uh, it's one of those ones where this is going to be tough. This is going to be going on for quite some time. Uh, they have two outstanding. They are definitely out on foot. Will they get into another vehicle? Do they live here? Is it was it some sort of plan? It's like all those uh, all those questions is what makes uh, make, makes this all interesting, as I would uh, understand it. But right now, though, it's more of a suspect search type of situation. Up, oh, you got officers running. Can we move just a little bit, Fulvio? Fulvio, can we move just a little bit? They got officers running into the center of the. Uh, yeah, right down in there. Not where, where that guy's going, but the officers ran into that area, into that alcove. 24-hour fitness, okay. So now they're saying something about 24-hour fitness. There is a 24-hour. That's where the officers were running towards. So uh, maybe the bad guys went in there, and now they're going to go try to get a get a little workout before they, they go to jail. But, uh, oh, you know, keep coming, keep coming. This, this, this guy's got his camera phone out. I'm wondering if he's shooting something. Uh, these people have no idea what's going on. Yeah. It definitely looked like they knew exactly where they were going. And there's, they're inside a, a tasting gardens. Tasty Gardens Restaurant. Something's going on in there. There they go. Hi, everybody. You guys just enjoy your food. We're just here to take a look around. Uh, look at these guys. They're like, yeah, I'm not going to pay for my food. I'm just going to get up and leave. Oh, come on, guys. You know, that waitress might have to pay the bill now. That is so not cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, look, they're giving him a big hug. All right, that's uh, two in custody. No, that's two in custody. They might have one more outstanding. They just took one into custody out of the uh, Tasty Garden restaurant. Yeah, they. Uh, we got a portion of that good tackle. Yeah, that's that's what we're looking at. Yeah, 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 definitely. Third suspect. All right, that's three. That's three. I guess there's another one taken into custody at the corner of Hellman. Yeah, there's another one going into custody on the other side. Keep coming around. Keep coming around. Keep going. Oh, there he is. There he is. Up over the fence he goes. Whoops. 
That's a daisy. Oh, you left your bag, buddy. It's stuck on the fence. Uh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back around. Coming back around. He's right behind that fence. He's right there. They, they had him lit up. Up oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's over here. Up oh, there's the light. All right, he's he's going out this way. He's going out. Up oh, wait 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 wait. Oh geez, where did he go? Nope, he's right there. Right there, I saw him. There he goes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's he's between the buildings. Where'd he go? 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 Uh, he's right there. He's right there. He's in the dark. I don't have any more. I got. I've got nothing more in the camera. I can see him though. He's not moving. You got the flashing lights, and in the dark, he, he's like between, he's right under the tree. Guys, come on, man. Come on, come on. You're so close. No, he's already gone. I know, you know what I thought was him is not him. Oh. He's not on the freeway, guys. He's not on the freeway. Frickin' trees. Oh, the, the light came back on, the motion light. So that means he's got to be somewhere right there. Maybe he's on the other side of that fence. Yeah, he's got to be right there because the motion detector light came on. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I have nothing else on the camera. I got. No, I can't. The light came back on again. Maybe it's a dog. Yeah, it's the last place I saw him was right in there. Yeah, the last place I saw him was actually right here. Oh, another light came on. Yeah, but I think that's, those are probably people just waking up. Okie dokie, we'll look for uh, freeway signs. 
Uh, way back, but yeah, let's see if we can find a uh, Amber Alert freeway sign. Amber Alert for uh, pursuit suspect on the run. Well, guys and gals, I don't know if you're still with us. If you are, we're going to go look for freeway signs, and then I'm going to go home. <laughs>